Jesus in the Gospel today gives a rather powerful parable. It's an analogy of what the kingdom of God is like. And obviously he's using financial terms in order to get the message across, although it's really not about finances. A talent, by the way, was a huge amount of money. Five talents was more than a person could earn in their lifetime. And so Jesus here is talking about the rich man who gives and trusts so much to those servants of his. But he expects a return on his investment. And the analogy is, in some ways, God expects a return on his investment in us. For God has made a tremendous investment in each and every one of us. The price of his own son, his death upon the cross, the gift of our salvation. And so we are challenged to think about, am I really growing and living out this faith that God has given me? Obviously, we're not talking about money here. We're talking about the talents. And we're not talking about those innate abilities that we might have, whether that's the ability to, to paint or to, with music or a writing or any of those talents that we may have or possess. But rather, it's that ultimate gift of God, which is, first of all, and there's a couple different interpretations of this, but first of all, I think it is that very gift of faith itself and that gift of salvation that is worth more than any amount of money. It is that gift that Christ entrusts to us. And he wants us not just to embrace it, but to make it grow and to share it with others. And that's part of this message about doubling it is not just keeping him for itself like the one with the one talent did. He kept it to himself and buried it rather than enabling it to increase, enabling it to truly bring about greater faith in the lives of others as well. But that's truly the message that Jesus is giving to us in this parable that he has entrusted so much to us. That gift of his word, that gift of salvation, the gift of his very presence in the Eucharist. And he calls us to truly enable that to grow and to develop, to transform, first of all, our own lives, but also that we share that with others rather than burying it in, in the ground. There's another interpretation of this, and that is that the talents represent the opportunities that we have for growing in Christ-like mercy and love. That God gives us an abundance of opportunities to truly grow in holiness of life. You know, the first reading and the gospel reading usually go together. And as I looked at those two readings the, the other day, I looked at them and I said, you know, these two don't go together. Here you have the one of the perfect ideal wife, and then you have this parable of the talents, and don't bury the talent, but rather multiply it, live it out. And what's the connection? And the connection, I think, is that we live it out in the ordinary of our life. It's not in the unusual or the dramatic, but rather it's in the ordinary of our life. That woman, in a sense, who is depicted in Proverbs, did nothing outstanding except everything. It was all ordinary things done in an outstanding way. St. Therese of Lisieux said that the key to holiness is not doing extraordinary things, but rather doing ordinary things extraordinarily well. It's a beautiful insight into the spiritual life, into our call to holiness. It is not that we are expected to do great and dramatic things. Maybe we will. Maybe that will happen to us. But the real call to holiness is living out the simplicity of ordinary daily caring for family, for friends, of co-workers, of fellow students, of living a life there 
that is of extraordinary love, bringing that compassion, that love of Christ to others, that we who are so very gifted with that love of God are called to become gift in turn. And to see that in those simple things of our life, the, the routine, even the humdrum, that in the midst of all of those things, we truly find the key to holiness when we do them with extraordinary love, with that compassion, with that caring of Christ Jesus. And so we are invited to first of all recognize what has been entrusted to us, that wonderful gift of our faith, that gift of salvation, and how we are called to grow within that, and especially all those wonderful opportunities that we have each day, not to do extraordinary things, but to do ordinary things with extraordinary love.